crusty face. Do I have any messages? Well, you got a new one from a fan saying, Mr. DeMeo is aging like macaroni salad left on the blacktop in Albuquerque, New Next Mexico. message. Uh, this one says you look like George Foreman. Oh, that's not so bad. Oops, I read it wrong. It says you look like a George Foreman grill. Next message. This one says you look like... Next. And another one says you resemble... Next. And this one here says you remind them of... Next. Oh, wait. This is a good one. It's from a little girl named Shelby. It says, Dear Mr. DeMayers, I like your videos, but please add more girls characters. Yours truly, Shelby. You know what? This girl is on to something. We do need more girl characters. You do know I'm a girl, right? Oh, yeah. Well... It can't hurt to have a second girl character. But I'm your second girl character. Okay, fine. Then it can't hurt to have a third girl character. Do I have any other messages? There's that letter by your foot. Hey, this is from the hot pink planet. She's a gas giant that's super far away. Oh, come on. Just because she's pink doesn't mean it's a girl. I know that, Andy, but she and I go way back. We're old friends. Well, what does it say? Well, it says, hey, old buddy, old pal. I'm having a birthday party soon. Swing by if you can. Just don't bring that weirdo with you. Hmm, she's probably talking about Steve. Yeah. Wait a second. Aren't we supposed to be looking for a new girl character? Quiet. I'm thinking. So if we need a new girl character, and the hot pink planet is a girl, then we should... Oh my gosh! What? I know where we can get a girl character. Me too. Costco. Just think about it. What? They have everything. Little frozen hot dogs, 10 pounds of pizza bagels. They are bound to have a new character that we can... Oh, Andy, come on. I'm kidding. But wait a second. You just said the hot pink planet was a girl. Why don't we just go to her? Yeah. We can kill two birds with one stone. I don't know if that's a good idea. My last tango with birds didn't turn out so well. Hey! Hey! I'm looking for two birds to kill with this stone that I have. Have you guys seen any? Oh, nice try, guys, but for real. Where are these two birds so I can hit them with this stone? I said two birds. Two birds. Two birds. It's like... One bird, but plus another bird. Alright, well, anyway, it was nice talking to you guys. Let me know if you see any birds. Relax. It's just an expression. We'll take it one step at a time. We'll definitely go to Costco. But first, we have to go to... later. Hold on a second. Don't tell me you changed your shirt just for the hot pink planet. What? Of course not. I would never. Then why'd you change it? Yeah. For the hot pink planet. Oh no. Oh man. I wish you told me. Now I'm underdressed. Hey Roberta, any chance there's a Justice or Old Navy or something around here? I need me a pink shirt. No. I'm sorry. Where we are, there are no clothes stores around. Oh. Well, where are we exactly? How about I just show you? While the name Hot Pink Planet has a nice sound to it, that's not its real name. Its actual name is Lisa 504B, or GJ 504B for short. It was discovered in 2011 when a team of astronomers imaged this giant planet around the bright star GJ 504 with the Subaru telescope in Hawaii. Anybody have a ladder? It can be found about 57 light years away from Earth in the Virgo constellation. That's equal to about 335 trillion miles. Whoa. That means that if you traveled at the speed of a Concorde jet, it would take you 1,134 years to get there. 1,134 years? Then how did we get here in seven days? If, if I had to guess? Wizards. And there goes Gleesa 504B's son, Gleesa 504. Man, this exoplanet is super far away from its star. How does this bad boy, I mean, girl, compared to the likes of 
Neptune. Well, it's so far away from its sun that it makes a trip to Neptune look like nothing. There is a thing called the core accretion model, which helps scientists understand how planets like Jupiter form. But Gliese 504b doesn't follow its rules. No. According to the core accretion model, Jupiter-like planets get their start in the disk that surrounds a young star. These disks are loaded with gas and debris. They believe that a core is produced by collisions among asteroids and comets that provide a seed. And when this core becomes massive enough, its gravitational pull rapidly attracts gas from the disk to form the planet. To experts, this core accretion model works fine for planets at distances that are less than 30 astronomical units, or about 2,700,000,000 miles. Whoa! But they don't think it should work for planets that are further away from their stars. And that's where GJ504b comes in. Its distance from its star is 43.5 astronomical units, which is equal to about 4 billion miles. So they are incredibly confused at how a planet like this even came to be. Me, personally, I blame wizards. Mom, here she comes. Quick, Andy, how do I look? You look fine. What are you so nervous about? I don't know. It's just a... Gliese 504b and I haven't seen each other in years. So what? I don't know. What if she thinks I look like a baked potato? Or mashed potatoes? Or tater tots? Enough for the potato references. You look fine. I'm sure the hot pink planet won't say anything about potatoes. Well, look who it is, Mr. DeMeo. Wow, you look like a baked potato. What? See? Or mashed potatoes. See? Or tater tots. See? Enough! Knock it off with the potato talk. Can we just get down to business already? Yeah. Oh, chill out, Andy. The hot pink planet and I are good friends. Hey, do you remember that time in Mr. Ben Ben's class where you ripped your pants and had to go home early? What? No, that wasn't me. It wasn't? Huh. Must have been that squirrel over there. Listen, under no circumstances are we actually friends. What? I moved like 335 trillion miles to get away from you. You did? Then why'd you invite him to your birthday party? Okay. First of all, you're late to the party anyway. And second of all, I didn't invite him. I invited that other guy. You know, the one who's totally less annoying. Wait, who are you talking about? Hey, have you guys seen my VHS copy of Ghost of Girlfriend's Pan- Hey, Hot Pink Planet! What? Oh, Steve, there you are. Where have you been? You haven't returned my calls. Oh, no. You called me? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry I missed it. Here, let me check my phone. That's a banana. Yeah. It is? Oh, that explains a lot. Eh, don't worry about it, Steve. No big deal. I'm just glad you can make it. Wait a second. You're telling me you actually want to talk to Steve instead of us? Well, yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. You're not annoyed by his constant references to his cousin Fernando? Nope. Or him always mentioning what he's allergic to? Not at all. Huh. Interesting. Leave it to us to find the one thing in the observable universe that doesn't find Steve annoying. Whoa. I'd say I'm offended by that, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that means. So besides liking Steve, what else is interesting about you? Can you tell me why you're pink? I know this is a little out of turn, but I can fill you in on her. What? Okay, but if you start talking about your cousin Fernando or that guy you met in the dumpster, we're ending this video. I'll talk about a pinkness in a second, but first let's start with the bigness of this thing because, uh, yeah, it's pretty huge. The hot pink planet measures at about 85,000 miles across. That's about 11 times wider than ear, ear, ear to Steve. It's pronounced Earth. Oh, uh, yeah, I meant, I meant Earth. Not only is it wide, but some experts believe it is four times more massive than Jupiter. It's hot there too, so make sure you wear loose-fitting clothing if you go. I recommend Vineyard Vines. You'll pay a lot of money, but Steve, get back on topic. Oh, sorry. I mean, it's super hot compared to Earth. As experts believe it could reach up to 460 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over two and a half times hotter than the hottest ground temperature recorded on Earth. Since it's so far from its sun, a year there is kind of long. 
While one year on Earth is like 365 days, a year on Gliese 504b is equal to about 260 years. But onto the pink stuff. Yeah. If you were to travel to this giant planet, you would see it's still glowing from the heat from it being formed. And this heat gives it its dull magenta color, which I must say, I look pretty dapper in. No. We know that planets tend to be very hot when they form, and it could take hundreds of millions of years for the planets to eventually cool off. But JG504b hasn't had that much time yet. Since it formed about 160 million years ago, it's still pretty freshly warm, and its hot glow is what gives it its pink color. Wow, I don't know what to be impressed by more. The fact that Steve actually got through that, or that this planet is bright pink. I'd say the Steve thing. Yeah. Listen, if you guys don't want Steve, I'll take him. Are you serious? You'll really take Steve? Yeah, sure, why not? Wait a second. Aren't we supposed to be recruiting a new girl character? I think it's kind of a lost cause at this point. The way I see it, we'll dump Steve and find a new girl character somewhere else. Anybody gotta ask me how I feel about this? Don't worry about it, Steve. I'll take care of you. Okay, one Steve coming right up. Three days later. <sighs> well, Andy, although we didn't get a new girl character, at least we got rid of Steve. Yeah. No more hearing about his cousin, Fernando. No more talking about his allergies. No more bringing up that guy, Sandy, I met in the dumpster. What? Hey, how did you get back in here? Yeah, she gave me the boot after 18 minutes. What? Ugh, we're striking out all over the place. First, no new girl character, and we're stuck with Steve again. Relax, guys. I know the perfect place that we can get rid of Steve and get a new girl character. We'll kill two birds with one stone. Hey, any chance you girls want Steve? Steve. 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 Hey guys, do me a favor and give the video a like. But you want to know who I really like? My patrons on Patreon. Especially Gavin Huggin, Dean Scandalakis, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, John Douglas Craft, Grant and Clark, Kate and Sarah, Anders and Elin, Isley, Jude Siegel, Toothless and Light Fury, Kuchan115, Nolan and Hugo Matthews with Seals, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Jameson and Nolan, Charles and Olivia, John David Petz, Mary Margaret M, Tobin and Nina, Oliver from Ottawa, Xander and Lucinda, Marlo Reynolds and Henry the Leprechaun King, Christopher F, Harrison Eastwood, Ollie and Cami, Rebecca Beanie, Creative Devin and Zach T, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Britton and Cosette, Emma Kennedy, Gavin Meidel, Harry, Nora Close, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Jack and Easton Hess, Jack and Colt Skinner, Evan Gray, Jacob Paduzzi Thorpe, Lillian and Davis Sozin, Caden Coslin, Henry Pavelko, Adeline Fitzgerald, Porter Isaac and Wesley Pierce, Nakia Swift, Evan Lee, Leah and Gavin Clark, The Peterson Pack, Reese, Miera and Mrs. Logrande's second grade class, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Jordana and Aaron, Connor and Emma B, Jet Kim, Marcus Roberty, Brandon and Mommy, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Ronan D, Charlie Kane, GC, Nadia and Hannah, Kai Kim, Connor LeCoke and family, Carter D, Lennon McCutney Jones Page, Avalon and Cash, Ainsley and Braden and Yardley, Hannah, Maya and Zoe, James Berg, Pfeiffer the Third, Johnny Ziegler, Maddox Capone, Ella Loves Chicken Parmesan, Grant and Ara Brown, Simon Natalie and Liam McNulty, The McHugh Brothers, Ronan X and Raiden Z, The Rivard Boys, Riker Y, Vivi and Jojo Roche, Asher S, Elliot Ulysses Coyne, Luke Henry Q and Stacy Q, Aiden Judah, Sam and Eddie from London, Santi Barajas, Ada S, Jordan Montgomery, Buddy Deese, Stephen McPhee, Wesley C, Rowan Scheibels, Liam Dickinson and Mom, Amador Baggerly, 
Sasha and Anders, Bennett E, aka Pooh Bear, Leif, Lake, and Ember Anderson Miller, Arthur Watson, Rory, Haley, and Ethan Hebbard, Mabel and Graham, Gabriella Encarnacion, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Mia Ladybug and Ian Ant, The Gauker Family, Callum G, Aiden Swift, Ethan and Axel, Asher Evans, Greg Matlock, Matthew and James Mondiello, Timmy C, Oshi, Avery L, Elijah Robert, Amelia and Alan Mills, Renko, Kosya, and Yaro, Cora, Ayer, and Jovi Douthit, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Rebecca and Sarah F. from Pennsylvania, Jasper Soros Rex, Logan Turner, Team Clark Hubbard, Noah Chin, Carter, William, and Liv S., Aiden Fenway Riley, and Zeno the Shark. If you want to get your name in a video too, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. It's blue and has a hashtag symbol before it. Try to find it. If you do, you can use it to get money off on cool stuff from my Teespring store like this, like this, and like this. Want to get a video message from Steve or Andy? Well, now you can through Cameo. Just click the link in the description box to get your own special message.